The general election is fast approaching and candidates for Arizona Attorney General debate it tonight. Yes, on TV, Democrat Chris Mays, Republican Abe Hamaday sparring over issues that are key to the state right now. Fox 10's Justin Lum live at ASU in downtown Phoenix where they're holding that debate. Justin. And John, Christina, we definitely watched the mood intensify inside of that studio as the debate went on. Both candidates' views are the polar opposite on some major issues, mainly addressing abortion in Arizona. Chris Mays, the former Republican and Arizona Corporation Commissioner who ran unopposed in the Democratic primary. Then Abraham Hamade, a former Maricopa County prosecutor with the backing of former President Donald Trump. Head to head this afternoon, abortion Abortion, as I said, the big topic at hand. May says our current state abortion laws violate the Arizona Constitution and that she would not prosecute any doctor, nurse, or pharmacist helping a woman with an abortion. Hamaday says an attorney general, as attorney general, it is his job to enforce the law and that Mays picks and chooses based on her personal beliefs. Here's some of that exchange. I mean, for you to sit here and say that I'm picking and choosing laws is ridiculous. And the women of this state do not deserve to have an attorney general, the current one or the one who is sitting across me who wants to be attorney general, who will force them to, uh, who, who believe that they have the right to tell women what to do with their bodies. That reasonable people can disagree with abortion. I mean, there, 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 there's, a, there's an argument to be made on both sides, but I am tasked to uphold the law. So that's ultimately what I'm going to do. But she brought up a point, and this is why we need, I want to keep going back to her lack of legal knowledge and experience. The attorney general does not certify an election, Chris. They are a witness to certification. And I understand fully well the attorney general doesn't decertify an election as well. So I don't know why then you why keep, did you say you I've would have done it? I've never, I've been consistent on the trial. I have never said that. I'm sorry, there's tweets that say op the opposite Chris, of that. Chris, you consistently. Why did you say on this Chris, set? Chris, I mean, I, I, I'm what? respectful for your time, and I just ask you to be respectful for my time. It and that conversation, of course, would take a turn to the 2020 election. Hamaday brought up unproven election fraud claims. We caught up with him afterwards, asked what voters will take away from those 30 minutes. May says Arizonans are tired of talking about an election that came out clean and fair. Well, I think they actually see the human side of me. I think the media has been unfair, and as you witnessed right there on the debate stage, it seemed like it was a three-on-one, but ultimately, you know, I got to this position in my life because people know I'm a fighter, and that's exactly what's going to carry me over the top in November. If they're willing to say that they would not have certified the 2020 election, then they're going to be willing to try to engage in a coup in 2024 if Donald Trump is on the ballot. And one thing in common with these two, both candidates have described each other's views as extreme and dangerous. We will see what voters think come November 8th. For now, live in downtown Phoenix, Justin Lum, Fox 10 News.